Hey guys, it's Joseph from Blackbox My Car. Since we've rolled out our Blackview dash cams, especially just a couple of months ago with the new DR770X and the DR970X series models, we've had a ton of customers asking us literally daily for a guide on how to set up their Blackview dash cam connections properly. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing just that. We're gonna be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to connect your Blackview app, plus how to activate your SIM card and make the most out of Blackview Cloud. This video is gonna be in depth. So for our Blackview customers, and even those thinking of purchasing a Blackview dash cam in the future, we're gonna be showing you how easy the setup process is. Now, before we dive right in, I do wanna take some time to answer this question from Manusos in our official best dash cams of 2023 video on YouTube. He asked, does the DR770X box record audio? Well, great question, Manusos. If you guys have seen this dash cam specifically, you're definitely gonna notice how uniquely designed it is. It's a triple channel dash cam, but unlike the previous generation, this one has been rebuilt and redesigned from the ground up. So it has three separate cameras for the front, rear and interior. Plus it comes with a box unit. So if you're wondering how it works, the box unit is created independently of the cameras and houses the Blackview dash cams processor, Wi-Fi connection and memory card. Aside from the cameras themselves being so small, the box unit can be hidden in the glove compartment or under the seat. And to answer your question, the small front camera of the DR770X box has a built-in microphone and speaker. So yes, it can definitely record audio. This dash cam is best if security is your priority and we love how its features are carefully designed to be discreet. If you have more questions, go ahead and watch our in-depth review video on this dash cam that we released just recently. Now, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to show your support and to stay up to date on the latest news about Blackview. Let's go back to our main event, which is connecting to the Blackview app, which is useful for any Blackview dash cam like the DR770X box, DR970X, DR590X, you name it. Start off by downloading the Blackview app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. It's free. Now, if you don't have login details, please create one. You're free to create one or use your Apple ID or Google ID. There was an update to the app recently where they added a guest mode, but if you use that, it's gonna limit some features of the app, so we do recommend creating an account. So what is Blackview seamless pairing? Now that you have your Blackview dash cam with you, the first thing to do is to set up its connections. Blackviews are kings of connectivity features, and we're gonna show you how you can make the most out of them. Every Blackview dash cam can give you access to a dedicated mobile app and connecting is now even more convenient with the new seamless pairing technology. You're gonna find this feature in the X series and above versions of the DR750 series and above. The majority of modern Blackview dash cams will have this. Now option one, connecting via seamless pairing. If this is your first time registering, you're gonna see Blackview dash cameras at the top with a plus sign next to the word camera. Pressing that button, it's gonna ask you if you wanna connect with your camera via seamless pairing or Wi-Fi only. We're gonna press seamless. The app's gonna scan for your dash cam and automatically detect it as long as it's powered, of course. Press on your camera's name when it shows up and it's gonna ask for verification. If it doesn't show up, make sure Wi-Fi for your camera is turned on with the Wi-Fi button for earlier models located on the side of the unit with the cables. Next, confirm the connection by tapping the side of the dash cam where the proximity sensor is. And that's it. You're now connected and the dash cam info is saved in your app for an even easier connection later. Now the camera has its own profile, allowing you not only for a seamless connection, but you can change settings for the camera, rename it, and set a cute little profile pic. Now option two, connecting via Wi-Fi only pairing. So what about those Blackview models that don't support seamless pairing? Wi-Fi only models that include all cameras S series or older, with the exception of the DR590X, which is still Wi-Fi only. So with one of these models, the connection process is gonna be a little bit more complicated, but rest assured, once done, the cameras will be registered in the same way and just as simple. Now let's repeat the same steps in the camera tab of the Blackview app, pressing on the plus camera button. This time, select Wi-Fi only model. Next, exit the app and navigate to the settings of your phone. In the Wi-Fi settings of your phone, choose your Blackview dash cam from the network list. The default SSID begins with its model number, i.e. Blackview DR770X, something, something, something. Enter the password and then tap join. The default Wi-Fi SSID and password is printed underneath the mount of the front camera or on the interior of the box. 
Once connected to the Wi-Fi, if it states no internet connection or a similar message, this is perfectly normal and we can continue. Return to the app and press continue. After this is done, the app will instruct you to leave the app and connect from the camera's Wi-Fi. Once done and on returning to the app, we're done. The camera will be registered in your camera tab of the Blackview app. So next time you wanna connect via Wi-Fi for either method, your Blackview camera name will be listed. Pressing on the camera name will automatically cause your phone to search for and connect to the Blackview Wi-Fi network. It's literally that simple. It's definitely a welcome improvement over other camera brands that require you to manually connect to the Wi-Fi network in the settings of your phone, then go into the app to access the dash cam. One concern is that even after closing the Blackview app, the phone stays connected to the dash cam, which can cause the user's phone to lose internet connectivity. This will go away if you walk away from the vehicle, the camera powers off, or you disconnect from the network setting cloud connectivity through a SIM card. So rest assured that the essentials of the camera has been set up with the Wi-Fi connection and the camera's core functions are operational. These next steps are for those of you looking to take a full advantage of Blackview's advanced features through the Blackview cloud. Earlier, you might have already seen a message on your phone asking you to finalize your cloud connection after we finished going through the standard Wi-Fi pairing. Let's do it. No worries if this was skipped, we can easily go back to it. Now from the camera's new profile, you're gonna see a bar underneath it that states cloud connection step. Give that a press and allow the app the GPS permissions that it needs for registration. On the next screen, the app will ask you to select a cloud connection method. The top SIM card option is for if you're using a CM100G LTE module or a Blackview dash cam with built-in LTE connectivity features. The other option is Wi-Fi hotspot, which should be used to pair the camera to any form of Wi-Fi in or around the vehicle. We'll cover that later. For the LTE option, you'll need either a Blackview branded SIM card that comes included with new models or a third-party SIM card. The Blackview SIM card is the easier option with plans available directly through Blackview. Or the next couple of steps is gonna be for third-party SIM cards specifically. Note that the LTE devices are compatible with data-only third-party SIM cards from T-Mobile, Bell, Rogers, and TELUS. For more specifics on what to look for when choosing a third-party card, check out our article in the description. Now, if you haven't set up yet, ensure that the SIM card is inserted into the unit or the LTE module, depending on what you have. Use the supplied SIM card eject tool and carefully remove that card tray. Next, place the nano SIM card into the card tray and carefully place the tray and SIM right back into the slot. Now it's time to activate your card. In the cloud connection menu on your app, select the SIM card option. This may take a minute or so to load. Here, it's gonna bring you to the activate SIM card menu. Lots of info to cover here. The first field is the network carrier field. Press the search button on the right side and search for your network carrier. If your network carrier does not appear, select other network carrier. Now, if the APN field does not fill in automatically, then it must be filled in manually. Most APN field information can be provided by your network carrier or found online. For example, the APN that will work with TELUS SIM cards is sp.telus.com. Underneath this, there is a username and password option. For North American SIM cards, both of these fields can be left completely blank. Finally, connect to the cloud. Press the done button. After a few minutes, you should hear cloud connected from the camera. Cloud connected. And in the app, the cloud icon next to the camera should turn blue with the Wi-Fi light on the camera turning yellow. Once completed successfully, your camera will default to the cloud whenever you press on its camera profile. We do recommend pulling a remote live view for reference on if the cloud is functioning properly, which should give you exact information on what's happening at your vehicle in real time. And it's a great reference to ensure the connection is stable. Now the other option is connecting to cloud through Wi-Fi. If you don't have a camera model with an LTE option, you are still fully able to connect to the Blackview camera to the cloud using a Wi-Fi connection outside of the camera. This can be an external Wi-Fi source like a mobile hotspot built in Wi-Fi in your vehicle or even your home Wi-Fi if you're in range. This method is overall uh, simpler as pressing on the option will connect you to the camera's Wi-Fi and bring you to the mobile hotspot screen. Here, you'll need to manually enter both the name and password of the Wi-Fi network that you would like to pair the camera to. The good news is that there are three different networks you can pair this camera to, so it can cycle between their availability depending on the situation. 
To clarify, this means that if the camera is not connected to one, it will simultaneously search for all three networks and connect to whichever one it can. With that done, the camera will immediately start searching for these networks and automatically connect to one that is best. Now let's walk through the Blackview Cloud features. The Blackview Cloud is what we consider the best cloud service in the dash cam industry today. And through the connection guides that we taught you earlier, you can already enjoy features that will level up your security. Now to give you an overview of the features, the Blackview Cloud has a remote live view feature that allows you to check on your car from anywhere. This is useful if you leave your car unattended or when someone else drives your vehicle. It also has push notification. So even if you're miles or a state or even a country away from your car, the moment an impact is detected, your Blackview will automatically send a notification to your phone or your web browser accompanied with a snapshot for reference. It also has live event auto upload features. This feature allows the dash cam to automatically upload live stream or recording files in low resolution to Blackview Cloud. You can also use the video backup feature to directly upload files from your Blackview dash cam to the cloud. Now about the new Blackview app, let's walk through the features. Now that you're done with the initial setup, you're done with Blackview Cloud. Now let's walk you through the app. Among the dash cam apps we've tested, Blackview is one of the most advanced out there. Even without a Blackview app, you can participate in the community and see what recordings others have submitted as well. The new Blackview app is organized in four different tabs. First is the camera tab. Here you can manage all your devices such as your Blackview dash cam, which are helpful if you're managing or using more than one device. Each camera will now have their own profile, allowing you to put their own profile picture, helping differentiate between your different systems. Your Blackview cameras and SIM cards, plus your connected batteries are also managed from a single place. While previous versions of the app had different sections of the cloud and the Wi-Fi, now it's all combined into one. Switching between the two is now the press of a button once you're logged into your camera's profile. Next one is the Explore tab. Here you can explore content from the Blackview community. It's like having a social network that's exclusive to Blackview users like yourself. You can also check the live view of other drivers around the world, as well as the most popular and viewed footage uploaded to the Blackview app. Another new feature is the Event Map tab. The Event Map is a new cloud feature that combines data from the dash cam with a crowdsourced map to display events such as impacts, heartbreak events, and even playback videos, making it ideal for both fleet management and personal driving. Check out footage recorded in your local area, as well as general heat maps for the number of events in specific areas, letting you know which areas are at a higher risk than others. We see a lot of potential in this feature. With enough data, this could replicate what Google Maps has done, where we're able to see live traffic data before a drive. Lastly, there's the Profile tab. Here you can manage your own profile and access the Help Center or contact Blackview support via call, chat, or email in case you have any concerns about your Blackview dash cam or app. Blackview's chat function is a brand new introduction, bringing you in touch with their own chatbot available in real time. It comes programmed with plenty of dash cam info as well, so question it to your heart's content. Here's some 2023 updates on the Blackview app. So that's how you connect to the Blackview app and maximize the cloud. The app has had quite the overhaul, and even though it's had some issues during its first release, Blackview really listened to customer concerns and aimed for improvement with recent updates. Now, in addition to direct access, Blackview also improved the loading speed of all tabs. Bugs have already been fixed, and the app has become more stable since the last update as well. While customers also want the camera as the default tab back instead of the Explorer tab, Blackview has made this possible for users who are logged into the app. Also, if your dash cam is not connected to the Blackview cloud after registering, the camera will default to the Wi-Fi connection method instead. In the event you're logged in but lost internet connection, the emergency mode will let you access the downloaded videos folder and the camera Wi-Fi. Blackview also removed the auto sharing option in the event map feature. So if you wanna share your dash cam footage in real time, you can do so by sharing manually. So that's how you get into the Blackview app. 
whatever model of Blackview dash cam you have, we hope we're able to guide you in connecting conveniently. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. I hope this video really helped you. And if you're planning on getting a Blackview dash cam from us, be sure to use exclusive YouTube code BBMC2 at checkout to get 5% off your next Blackview. Check you guys later.